Welcome back to my workshop. In the last video, we made these rather splendid handbags, Christmas presents for my two daughters. And whilst I could give them to them like that, they're rather, rather splendid, they work rather nicely. I'm rather pleased with them actually. Uh, well, whilst I could give them to them as they stand, it would be rather nice to put a lining. So I've been to the shop, I bought this rather excellent bit of suiting material. I'm sure I'd love a suit made of this, but uh, there you go. It's going to be used for lining material. So what I've done is I've taken the pattern that I made earlier and I've drawn it out. And all I've got to do now is cut it out, sew it together and put it inside the handbags. What could be easier, I hear you cry? We'll find out. Now I've already drawn out with Taylor's chalk and I'm cutting about six mil outside of the and about 12 mil across the top or 12 mil above where the top line is I must admit I do like working with leather rather than fabric it's much easier to work <laughs> much easier to work with it stays still and doesn't stretch but uh, I'm sure that's just me being difficult. Now, if you're the kind of person who works with fabric all the time, this is probably not the video for you. <laughs> this is not something I'm particularly good at, but I quite enjoy doing it every now and again. Um, having said that, I've just managed to find myself a book tailoring for the modern man. So who knows what we're going to do? So what I want to do is have a pocket. I don't know if you can see, I've made myself a little pocket. Um, I've already hemmed across the end there and I put it into place, pinned it down and this is where those of you who work with fabric all the time are now going to be pulling your hair out, shouting at the screen. not bad as a pocket it's designed specifically to pack a mobile phone and um, my mobile phone fits in there quite nicely so I would be quite happy with that so I just need to do that on some of the other bits and then we're ready to start sewing this together so having now Sonar lining. We slide it into the bag. And then what we need to do now is to stitch it in. Previously I've stitch marked all the way along there and I've gone through um, with the awl and just made those holes. And I'm just using a single needle this time. This is as simple stitching as it's possible to get. Having said that, I'll make it seem complicated because that's what I do. And it's just a question of sewing the lining into the bag. Now I can't pretend this is going to be a fast process. It's going to take me a little while to work my way along. So I'll see you in a moment. There you go, I rather like that. I've got a bag with a lining, with somewhere to put your phone as well. That's rather good, isn't it? Just got one last little bit to do. In that being as I've made two the same, I need to do something which just makes them unique. So we've now reached a point that we've got two bags, we've got buckles on them, and we've got linings and there's somewhere to put a mobile phone. Now the one thing I need to do now is to do something to differentiate between the two bags. What I'm gonna do, this came to me in the middle of the night last night, um, is I've made some flowers. <laughs> I'm gonna make some flowers. This is one I, I made earlier, just so you can see it. Um, it's gonna fit around there like that and slide down to the bottom. 
And so there's one brown with a red centre, and we'll have one that's red with a brown centre. And then, having made them, I then made these this morning, where I'm then going to mould the leaves so we have a little bit of strength to them. That's the plan, anyway. So let me show you how I've done that. So the first thing we need to do is to cut a couple of leaves. And um, that's what we're trying to get to. So I started with a normal piece of red leather. This is really too thick for what we want to do with it. So what we need to do is to thin it down. Now we can thin it by hand. There's plenty of videos on my site of me doing that. Or you can use one of these machines just to make your life a little bit easier. And as you can now see, this is the bit I've thinned. It's now approximately half the thickness of this bit here. Um, it's also much more pliable and easy to work. Now we just draw around the one that we made earlier for our pattern. Now unusually I'm drawing on the front. Normally you would always draw on the back. But the trouble is now having thinned out the back it's very rough and very hard to draw on so all we've got to do now is to cut it out now you can do this with a pair of scissors I did try I did try earlier with a pair of scissors, but I actually got much better results cutting with a saddler's knife. The problem is having thinned out the back, the leather loses a lot of its strength. It becomes much harder to work and see what we can do to tidy it up. doesn't need to be too tidy because after all this is supposed to be natural but what you can do is using a piece of sandpaper just gently go along and that tidies it up now I did consider sewing this but uh, I think that's probably pushing my luck. So I want a little bit of leather in the original tan colour. That's going to be our backing strap. I've got two leaves. Cut a little circle of leather with a stamp. So we've got our rivets so we can start to assemble it. We've got two leaves. front get it so we like it and we're ready and there you are there's our flower earlier today I turned these moulds and the idea is that that's going to go in there like that and then that's going to go on there like that and what will then happen is that our flowers will then go stiff like that that's the plan so what I need to do is to now just soak these in water for sort of 10 or 15 minutes they're thoroughly soaked then they're going to go in there clamp them together 
and it will leave it overnight. If you're interested, I'll start to put some pictures on Instagram. If you'd like to go and have a look at that and see some of my more up-to-date pictures. Well, I'm keen to see how this comes out. I've already taken the first one out. As you can see, it's well moulded. Well, it still needs a chance to dry out. But I must admit, I'm rather pleased with that. That's the other one that I also did. So there you are, we've reached the end and we've ended up with two very fine modern looking bags with a little bit of an embellishment and a lining with a pocket. What more could a girl want? Well in this case, what more could two girls want? And this is uh, my daughter's Christmas presents. I hope they like it. If they don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but uh, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Hopefully you enjoyed the videos. If you do, remember to press the subscribe button. It makes quite a difference to my life. And have a look at some of my other videos. You never know, you might enjoy those as well. In the meantime, I'm going to get on with some more Christmas presents. There's plenty more to make. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.